Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, and the votes are in, and it was a tie between working on the frog, the crochet frog, or the diamond painting. And since I'm in charge, and I decided I probably need a little bit of a break from crocheting because I've been non-stop with yarn for a little bit, I'm going to take a break, and we're going to do the diamond painting today. Now, I mean, it's still got the cover on it. It's just, it's an 8 by 10 We're not going to do the whole thing. We're just going to work on it for a little bit. And just chill out, relax, let my brain de-stress from, um, from yarn. I was, I tried to do two different, um, yarn tutorials, and I got one, and then I dropped part of it, and, um, the other one, I just, my head's just not right in the right spot for following tutorials right now. And so rather than get myself super stressed out about it, I'm just going to totally take a step back and we're going to work on diamond painting. Plus this is a cute one. It's of my cats. So let's get the camera set up and we'll get going. Okay, so you can see I'm set up here. I have yarn that I'm not sure why I have it. I've got scissors for opening the packets. My homemade lip balm, coconut oil, beeswax. It's equal part coconut oil, so solid coconut oil, and beeswax. And so I get the little beeswax pellets. So I use two tablespoons of each. Plus, um, I use a little bit of a, like liquid coconut oil, sometimes a liquid almond oil, depending on what I'm in the mood for. Sometimes just shea butter. And then essential oils. And this one, and I'll put them in the tubes, like your know, normal chapsticks. But then what's left over, I stick in here. And I can just, you know, put it in there. And then I, it, you know, makes good lotion too. So that's why I put it off the back of my hand. I have an ink pen just because it was on the desk. And then, of course, my lovely soda. So. Now, I know that the instructions generally say take a piece off of the, the backing off and leave the rest of it covered. But I don't work one section at a time. I work one color at a time. And here are the colors I've already done. But I need to get my wax piece out. Here is the tray. And all the colors that are left. So we will pick one at random. Looks like I'm going to be doing 414. Which will be the number five on the symbols. I have no finger well, I have fingernails. I keep I keep my fingernails trimmed short. But see if you can see how I've got they're all they're, these are just the colors that I've come across. And then if you've not done them before you see they've got all these different patterns. Or the you know, the different symbols. So that's how you know what to do. That's why I refer to it as like advanced coloring or um, remedial paint by numbers. I like it. It's relaxing. We're going to move the camera. Sorry for the bouncing. We're moving the whole setup. Take it and then you just get the corner off. Put it in the little tray. Do hickey, your little whatnot. You stab the wax, and then these I'm using are the um, square drills. A lot of them are round ones, and the round ones are easier to do. The square ones give more of a mosaic, like it's solid. You won't have the space in between the round ones like you do in between the be the diamonds like you do the round ones. Okay, so, and I usually just start in, excuse me, my soda's making me need to burp and it won't come out. So I just usually start in one corner and kind of work my way around, finding all the number fives. You just... Poke one of the little drills and then pick it up, you stick it on there. So I have a ton of these. Let me show you. Uh, 
I have hidden over here. Not, not hidden, but out of the way. This entire basket is full of diamond paintings that need to be done. Because I will go on kicks where I do nothing but diamond paintings for, you know, a week or so. And then I take a break from it and I go do other stuff. But I definitely work on the yarn products more often than I work on... Um, the diamond paintings. So. And I was emailing Sabrina this morning and got to realizing I have turned into my mom, which is not a bad thing. My mom got to a point where she wasn't able to work anymore, so she was on disability. She got on approved for disability the first time, like in I did this, I was the same way I got approved. Which, as hard as they make it to get approved for disability, it makes me wonder, you know, how bad, how messed up am I if I got approved right off the bat? But anyway, so she was on disability, so she stayed home a lot. I mean, you know, she went out to the doctor. She lived in the middle, she lived in the country. Not as far out of the country as my sister did, but almost. But, um, you know, she did, she had her, you know, her husband, my stepdad, and, you know, they would go out, like, on the weekends and do what and stuff, whatnot. But little miss, quit eating my shoelace. She gets and digs under the closet door. Excuse me, towards she gets the shoelace, and she chews on it. She's a little brat is what she is. Little miss. <whistles> Stop that. She knows when she's in trouble, too. She'll look at me, she'll look guilty, and she'll go right back to doing it, because she's a little brat. She's my little brat. But anyway, so my mom, you know, she's hanging out a lot at, at home. She's the one that actually taught me most of what I know about computers. Or she's the one that got me started with computers and the internet. Because she had a computer before I did. So, I mean, I graduated in 95. I was not the generation that had, you know, I was a generation where technology started, you know, being commonplace with everyone. Um, and... You know, when I first started, you know, with internet, y'all guys are all my age or older, you understand. Um, but she's the one that, she was, Voc Rehab sent her to school to see if she could learn another field or another career so that she could possibly go back to work. And part of the thing that they did was they helped her get a computer. And so she got online and this is an AOL was super big, and the AOL had all these chat rooms. And so she would go in, and it's so funny, she had all these alter egos. Um, just different, she'd have different personalities that she'd play. And, I mean, she didn't have multiple personalities. She just, you know, sometimes she would be, I remember she, there was one named Sarah, and, you know, Sarah had her own backstory and her own group of friends and whatnot, and then she had, you know, all these other different ones, and... Um, it was a little odd, but not really that odd compared to some of the stuff in our family. But what got me with realizing was I'm my mom is she has all these friends. She had all these friends in different countries, um, like in Barbados and in England and I mean everywhere that she would talk to and they would mail letters back and forth, like actual through snail mail and send cards and whatnot, and I remember that when my mom died, and I got on to her um, AOL, and got into her email, and emailed all these people, and I was like, hey, you know, here's what, what happened, and I got sympathy cards from all over the world, from friends that my mom made online, and so when I was emailing Sabrina this morning, you know, and we connected on Facebook and everything, and I was just like, oh, this is cool, you know, my sister... As she gets older, my sister gets to look like my mom, and I get to, to be my mom, or be like my mom. So, it was kind of cool. I told David that if something were to ever happen to me, that he would have to live stream my funeral on YouTube, just so all you guys could come to it. 
Although I've decided that if y'all have a funeral, one, I don't want to go. But two, it darn well better be a party. No slow songs allowed. I don't like slow music. The only slow song you would be able to do would be that the old hymn, It Is Well With My Soul, by Horatio Spafford. Because he's my relative. He's, I don't know how many greats are in there, but he's an uncle. And I like that hymn. Other than that, so do you need to play New Kids on the Block and um, Three Doors Down and, you know, all kind of just have a party, have fun. So, anyway, enough of that depressing stuff. I've been having fun with my ball winder. That still sounds so bad. But anyway, I have been winding yarn this morning. So, anyway, just so that y'all don't have to sit here and watch me do this bit by bit, I'm going to put you on pause, watch some YouTube videos, and I'll check back in with you in a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know about you guys. I don't mind untangling yarn, but this Bernat velvet, love the stuff, super soft, and it's like just absorbs the light, so it's freaking hard to see to get it untangled. And I'm trying to get it untangled because now that I'm messing with it, I remember I had problems when I was actually working with it, so I can run it on my winder. So I am got all, not all of these, but some of some of my partial balls out, partial balls out here, so that I can get them um, wound up and cleaned up and maybe taking up less space, and of course any excuse to play with my new ball, my new yarn winder because I absolutely love that thing. Anyway, so today was a good day. I just chilled out at home and. Um, Worked on the diamond painting some, and when I get done with this, then I'm going to play with, um, or probably do a little bit of the um, scrunchies, because that's just kind of my brain dead thing, or, you know, I don't really have to think hard on those right now, and if I can just get a stock of them up. Um, I tried doing a couple video tutorials today, and they just work one i think i was doing halfway decent i just needed to do it with a solid color yarn and not variegated because the variegated you couldn't see the pattern plus it made me get you know made it easy for me to get lost on a one line repeating pattern and um, the other one i probably will have to look at a couple more because it's kind of converting from british to american so um I just have to learn that person. They're not doing bad. I'm doing bad on following the pattern. So I just need some practice with theirs. And then I will be good to go on that one. Um, but I've just been chilling out and enjoying. Tomorrow I've got to go to the doctors just to get lab done. And then I think that I'm going to try and do um, a live depending on if, make sure there's no one else running alive at the same time, because, you know, I don't want to 
have to compete with anyone or, or step on any toes. So, other than that, I'm just chilling out. No plans, no big plans going on. Um, and just taking a, um, basically today was just taking a break from crocheting because I think that's what I needed to do. Give myself a couple hours of some other activity and let my brain reset. And then I think, I bet you anything I can go back to those tutorials and they'll be a lot easier. So anyway, that's where I am today. I'm still battling the yarn and I probably will be battling the yarn for a while, but I actually kind of think it's fun. So I will check in with you guys later. Have a great day.